very fun ride. Now let's assemble your Huffy Cranbrook Cruiser Bike. Now let's get the right tools. And of course, your bike. Open the box and carefully remove all the contents. And then the packaging from the major parts. First, we'll install the front fender. Slide the front wheel straight out from the frame, making sure the pedal crank doesn't interfere with the wheel spokes. Use the Phillips screwdriver and wrench to remove the bolt near the fork crown. Remove the fork end spacer between the fork mounts. Then with the fork and fender pointed forward, place the fender between the fork legs. Make sure the short end of the fender faces the front. The top of the fork fits between the two tabs on the fender. So you can insert the bolt through the front tab and then through the front hole and then through the rear tab. Add the washer and nut. Tighten the bolt. Now for the braces. Remove the mounting bolt from each side. Line up the fender braces with the fork mounting tabs and insert a mounting bolt into one brace and fork mounting tab. Tighten securely and repeat for the other side. Now let's install the front wheel. Remove the axle nuts and wheel retainers from the front wheel axle on both sides. Set the wheel into the front fork. Use the kickstand to hold the bike steady. Install the wheel retainers, one on each side, making sure each tab is in the fork tab hole. Install an axle nut. You only need to tighten it finger tight for now. Repeat for the other side. Center the front wheel between the fork legs and make sure the wheel does not touch or rub against the fork or fender. Now securely tighten the two axle nuts. Make sure the wheel can rotate freely without rubbing the fork or fender. Let's install the rear fender. First, remove the mounting bolts, one on each side. Line up the rear fender brace holes with the frame mounting tabs and insert one bolt into one fender brace hole and frame mounting tab with the brace fully extended. Securely tighten and repeat for the other side. With the screwdriver and wrench, now tighten the top fender mount while the fender is centered over the tire. Make sure the wheel spins freely without touching the frame or the fender. Loosen the stem bolt a few turns with the Allen wrench. Next, remove the plastic cap from the end of the handlebar stem. Insert the stem into the fork lock nut to the desired height. Make sure the min in mark is hidden. Align the stem with the front tire and securely tighten the stem bolt. Adjust the handlebar so the grips point toward the seat. Loosen the handlebar clamp nut. Rotate the handlebar into a comfortable riding position and then securely tighten the handlebar clamp nut. Now test the handlebar stem tightness by first straddling the front wheel between your legs. Try to turn the front wheel by turning the handlebar. The handlebar and stem should not turn without turning the front wheel. Now test the handlebar clamp tightness. Hold the bike stationary and try to move the handlebar ends up and down. The handlebar should not move within the handlebar clamp. Now install the seat. Place it upside down and loosen both seat clamp nuts enough so you can insert the smaller end of the seat posts. Rotate the seat post within the seat post clamp to be vertical. 
Then tighten both nuts evenly and equally so the seat post will be secure within the seat clamp. The quick release lever should be somewhat loose with the seat tube. Hand tighten the adjusting nut as much as possible while holding the lever still. Next, move the quick release lever to the fully open position and point the seat forward. Insert the seat post into the seat tube. Make sure the min inline is not showing. Position the seat post at the desired height while lining the seat to point along the frame and close the quick release lever by hand. If the seat post is still loose, open the lever. Then, while holding the adjusting nut, turn the lever clockwise a bit and then close it again. Repeat this process until the clamp is secure so the seat post won't move. Again, make sure the min inline is not shown and that the lever, when closed, lays against the seat clamp. Then loosen the seat clamp nuts just enough so you can rotate the seat for a comfortable riding position. Securely tighten the bolts evenly and equally so the seat will not move. To test the tightness of the seat clamp and the post clamp, Try to turn the seat side to side and to move the front of the seat up and down. In both cases, the seat should not move in the seat clamp and the seat post should not move in the seat tube clamp. For the pedals, refer to the stickers or the engraved letters to identify the left and right pedals. Insert the left pedal into the left side of the crank arm and hand tighten counterclockwise. It's important to tighten the left pedal counterclockwise. Then finish tightening with your wrench. Insert the right pedal into the right side of the crank arm and hand tighten clockwise. Again, it's important to tighten the right pedal clockwise. Then finish tightening with your wrench. To install the front reflector, Rotate it on the handlebar so it points straight forward. Then snugly tighten the clamp screw. And that's that. Just make sure the tires are properly inflated and you're ready to ride.